Hello, Teach Ontario educators. My name is Jamila Gamble, and I'm so excited to be teaming up with Teach Ontario to help you get your classroom ready to introduce students with disabilities. Being in the field for 17 years, every first day I get the jitters and I completely understand that every teacher is going to be nervous when welcoming new students into the class. What I encourage you to do is to not let your fear consume you. This is your time to ask questions, get to know the student, and don't focus too much on their diagnosis because most importantly, they're a person first. As much as it's important to know what is associated with their diagnosis, it's absolutely essential to know what their likes are, what their dislikes are, what their quirks are, what works for them so that when you get that basic information it's much more easier to transition introduce yourself to them and welcome them into the classroom without fear getting into the way when setting up your classroom make sure it's accessible it's great to have an open layout and concept in case a student has a walker or a wheelchair but I want to focus on right now is having an accessible attitude be open-minded and encourage your students to be open-minded too. Sure, you might have a student who has a physical disability. Make sure your students know that just because someone's in a walker or a wheelchair or may have leg braces on does not mean they cannot have fun just like them, that they cannot participate in games just like them, that the barriers are not there. If your student has a speech impediment or maybe they're nonverbal, make sure that everyone in your classroom knows that there's other ways to communicate. You could communicate with pictures, you could communicate with pets, the possibilities are endless and people's potential is also limitless. Just because somebody has a disability does not mean that they are, cannot be an active member of your classroom. When you have an accessible attitude, you really have an accessible classroom. As the saying goes, collaboration is key and you'll be working with a wide range of professionals with your student, from speech and language, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, and don't forget the parents, you will have lots of voices involved in your student's success. What's important is to make sure that communication is open, honest, and consistent. We want everybody to be on the same page when talking about the students' upcoming plans for the school year. Even if it's weekly meetings, emails that are being answered on time, make sure that everyone has a say and their opinions are being shared to ensure that everything that is planned for the student is actually being executed. And when collaborating, the number one person that you should be collaborating with on a daily basis is the parent. Make sure they feel a part of the team, that they're opinions are being heard and that they have access to you to share with you any findings that are happening at home that could help in the classroom. Collaboration is absolutely essential in a student success. And last but not least, although you may be the teacher, you will learn so much by having a student who has a disability in your class, whether they're verbal, nonverbal, in a wheelchair, or able-bodied they have something to bring to your room and there's a reason why they're there. So make sure that your relationship is nice and open so that you can enjoy the learning process with them. I'm so glad I got to team up with Teach Ontario to help you get ready for welcoming a student with a disability to your class. If you have any questions or concerns, you could always find me on Twitter, at MissJamPCCS, and you could also find me at Teacher Ontario, where I'll be posting vlogs and videos as resources for you. I wish you the best of luck and have a great school year.